What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I wanna to go over some basic sound design on how to create ambient pads using Serum. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. So I wanna show you how to create a pad sound using Serum. It's pretty simple to get the basics down. Once we get the basics down, I'm going to move into how we can create some modulations to the sound and make it more interesting. Now, first, what you wanna do is load up this initial preset. And let me just go ahead and play it for you on my keyboard. I will go ahead and leave it on this initial preset because it's essentially a saw wave. And we could just assume that the saw wave is going to be our wavetable we want to use for this pad. What I would first do is raise up the unison and I would take up the unison to something like five or seven or nine, something like that. Let's go ahead and just leave it at seven. Take the detune down and it's pretty bright right now, but eventually what you are going to want to do is filter off all of that top end. Next, let's go to our envelope one. Our envelope one, let's go ahead and slow down this attack. And then raise up this release. Usually pads are going to be these notes that are held out really long, these legato notes. So you really want the transition between these notes to be really smooth. Next, I would go on to the filter here. It's defaulted on the MG Low 12. I might go ahead and put it on the MG Low 18. And then you can make adjustments to the filter. I could raise the resonance, drive, maybe the fat. And maybe I would put it at something like that. Let's go ahead and play this MIDI that I have. Now, after I create that basic pad sound, which that is a basic pad sound, I would start adding some effects to it. First, I would take off that low end because if you have bass in the track, you don't want any of that low end from a pad to interfere with the bass. I'll add an EQ8 here, and then I'll add a Valhalla Vintage Verb for some reverb. And I want to low cut the reverb and add a long decay and have this mix pretty heavy. Let's say, I don't know, 40%, 40-50%. And I'll keep the pre-delay at zero milliseconds. Let's go back into Serum and start making some adjustments to the sound, add some modulation to the sound. Maybe I want the pitch to modulate back and forth. I could take the LFO one, take it to the fine tuning here. Sounds pretty crazy like that. I could take this down. And maybe I want to adjust the shape of the LFO. So I could go to basic here and do a sine wave and then maybe reduce the modulation of the sine wave a bit. And that gives a nice pitch variation to the sound. And then maybe I want to adjust the panning. I could go to my LFO2 and assign it to my panning here. And now that gives this nice width and we have that pitch modulation and now it's starting to add some movement to the sound. Maybe I also want to add some movement to the actual filter. I could go to my LFO3 here. Let's go ahead and create a shape like this and then assign this to the cutoff. And what I'll do is assign that to envelope and change the rate to one bar. Maybe, maybe I'll do two bars.
and that gives it this nice swelling effect for the pad. I could also do something cool with this sub here. I could add some movement to the actual pad sound. I'm gonna to go to my LFO4 here and I'll create a shape like that, assign this to my sub, lower down the level, turn it on. Let's take the octave down to negative two. Maybe negative one. And let's raise this rate up to one eighth. Turn this on to envelope. Actually take it, turn it on to off. Now you have that nice bass pumping rhythm and then also the swelling of the pad and you have some nice movement to this pad. So we're just adding some variations to the pad and depending on how your track sounds, maybe one of these will work, all of these will work, or maybe none of these will work and just that simple pad will work. What I could also do is go to my effects. I could add some distortion. Maybe turn on the filter there. Lower the mix. I could add some chorus. I could even add a phaser. And now we're just making that sound a lot more interesting. I could go to my oscillator A and I could change the wave tables to anything else and that'll give it a much different sound. Let's say I wanna to go to my PWM Juno. Now this LFO3, it is assigned to the filter now, but I could also assign it to my wavetable position, and then it will actually just comb through the wavetable like this. And if the wavetable is nice and smooth between each and every wavetable, like if I click on it, then you can see as I comb through it, it transitions nicely in between each wavetable, then this will uh, make the sound really nice and change the actual tone of the sound. I could also add on another oscillator. I could turn on oscillator B here. And what do you do turn on oscillator B? Just make sure to turn on the filter. Then I could turn up the unison. And that's just a saw wave. I could go to something else, random, let's say maybe this, and I could also assign the LFO3 to this wavetail position knob here. And then now I have both wavetables changing constantly. could also add some portamento to the sound. That's pretty extreme there. I'm not going to use the portamento, but maybe it'll work in whatever instance you have. I could also add on the auto pan, which is nice to create this panning back and forth if you don't want to do the modulation on the actual serum. And I think that's a really nice effect. Hopefully that gives you some options now on how to create some nice pads for your tracks. I'm going to show you another thing that I could do with using the serum. Let's go ahead and put this on to the initial preset. And I'm going to leave the same chords here. But what I'm going to do is turn on my arpeggiator. I really like this MIDI device, the arpeggiator. It's really cool because I have these chords playing. But with the arpeggiator, this is what it's going to sound like. And it'll probably be loud. Let's go ahead and turn this down. And 
And I think that's really awesome to add an element to your tracks, this nice arpeggiating effect. But I could actually make that into more of a pad sound. Let's go ahead and raise this up an octave. And I turned on the filter there. And then I'm going to go to my reverb and just turn the mix up to 100 and then raise up this decay. And now you have this really cool ambient sound and I could put the auto pan after the reverb. to give us some movement between the left and right. And then what I would do is I would record this. So let's go ahead and just copy this first part before it so that we have some of the sound in the beginning. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it to this record, record, and let's go ahead and record this now. And actually on this record track, I've got some overdrive and a phaser, and these are just some other effects that I can add to the sound. And this is the sound that I recorded here. And let's go ahead and cut this off and create a four bar section here. And so that's the sound, and I could add some overdrive, I could add some chorus. or even a phaser. So now you have this really cool, unique pad sound that was created from an arpeggiator and lots of reverb and just throw a bunch of effects on it and get it to sound really cool and then put it nice and low in your mix. So there are some options on how to create some ambient pads using Serum. Once you get that basic sound down, then it's a lot easier to understand how to add all of those modulations that I showed you. You don't have to add all of those, but they are just some options to help you get the sound that you want. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. And also, if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos that are just like this. And also, if you are really looking to improve your mixing skills, then check out my Modern Mix Academy. This is a full online mixing course that I created that will show you everything that I know about mixing and it will help you make the most amazing records from the comfort of your own home. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.